Hello there. I thought I'd talk you through how I made this car today. I have used the girl called Friday from Greeting Farm and she's with the Creepy Crew. And um, I have also used a piece of paper in the background here from Graphic 45 and the series is called Curtain Call. And the same thing goes for this note paper here. And I'm going to talk you through how I made this happen. I started off colouring a piece of paper with this uh, Distress Stain colours. And I have used Wild Honey here. And then I boldly went all over it with some broken china and there is a risk of course that those colors are blending but I don't mind I mean if I use it all for the next project I'll just have to wipe it off before I start using it and then I colored it in with some perfect pearls but it seems like I have actually run out of that so I'm sorry for that but I sprayed it all over and then I let it dry I actually heat and heat set it with my embossing gun I'm just going to leave that to the side like so and if you go back to the card you see that I have just a small bit of that greenery sort of in the background. So what I did after that was I chose two pieces of paper, could be just any kinds of paper I actually feel like, and then I poked a hole through both of them and then I started tearing them, them diagonally. And the intention is, of course, to just make a frame out of these. And they don't have to be perfect or anything, just do it. I mean, there are two sides here, you could decide on which one you want to show. And let's say I would like those pumpkins to show. I think that it could be a good idea, actually, to just drag it like that. So you have one side with white and you can correct it later when you put it in the center of this one and then I just inked it up a little bit just to give it some character you could just choose any brown color really and then the fun part begins the folding down part actually and just make it work sort of force it backwards and you might as well take that one just a little bit more and then you can do the same thing with this one and since I'm going to show the pumpkin so far I might do it from this side actually and then you just try to find a way to put this one through the frame like so and then you just have to decide on how you want to mount these down and I have just glued these down with some hot glue if you feel like making them fit a little bit better you just have to continue tearing the pieces up now don't you and what I did later on was also to glue these down so that they would make that bendy look sort of and then I chose a piece of paper that I wanted to have in the background. Let's say I wanted to keep use this one. I just put it over this like so. And I glue it down and then I find myself a background paper. For example, this green one here. And then I mount it on a card, card base. And then I'm almost ready to go. And then I glue this girl down as well with with some hot glue because it's so deep here so she wouldn't have had a chance of actually staying in place otherwise and then I just put some flowers in in the corners I put a flower here from graphic 45 a staples wonderful flower and then I put a rose in it and I actually let the coil actually spin the coil around a paintbrush like this I'm going to show you if you haven't seen it before that is you just take it like so 
and make it coil and you have a beautiful ending like so. So you do that, you, first off you just put it in the, in, the, in the paper flower and then you just do the coiling and you just put it like so and continue decorating it with flowers. And you could end up with something like this. I have used my heat or my glue gun all the way through and I've, I'm, I actually feel that it's really sturdy and so forth. So this is my attempt of actually keeping the, the Jazz Age paper intact. Louis Armstrong there, as you can see, and humorously enough, when I look at her arms, and I'm thinking of her, his last name or surname, Armstrong, strong arm, hmm, ha, ah, I shouldn't think so, sort of an erectic arm star, aren't they? So we calm, she could call, Friday the we calm. Well, enough with puns. That's an idea from me. I hope you are doing fine and I'm going to sign off right now.